Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Chiron in Pisces in a natal horoscope. As most of you know, Chiron is associated with that wounded healer. It represents an element or aspect in our lives where we can uh, strongly help others and uh, help others accentuate or emphasize this area, but at the same time we may have difficulty in helping ourselves in this particular sector of our lives. Now, as uh, Chiron is like is been viewed, it's I mean, I've gotten different descriptions in my research on this uh, asteroid or planetoid or comet. It is not classified as a planet. However, I think its effects can be similar to that of like a generational planet. The average time that Chiron traverses a sign is, four to, is about four to five years. So it, the house is more significant, obviously, than the sign placement. Well, anyway, first thing, um, Chiron in Pisces, uh, this can indicate somebody uh, that um, encourages others to show empathy, uh, compassion, uh, toward others, but at the same time may do may have difficulty in doing this themselves. They may actually be very sympathetic and compassionate toward other people, but they might not uh, maybe be consciously aware or cognizant of this, but they may have trouble uh, in doing this uh, for themselves as far as being compassionate to their own needs go. Um, look at this placement. Now, Chiron and Pisces, uh, this could indicate uh, somebody that, uh, that may experience some confusion, maybe uh, some uh, deception from other people, uh, duplicity. Uh, they may have difficulty in dealing with this from others, but at the same time may encourage others uh, to deal with people of that nature, uh, perhaps of being, um, of perhaps being uh, duplicitous and not uh, and, and go ask them to guard against being impressionable or uh, perhaps uh, maybe even maybe gullible to some degree. However, they may have difficulty in deciphering, uh, I guess you could say, intentions of other people, but yet they, they may encourage others to do so uh, for themselves and to kind of look for red flags uh, for, from others, so to speak. In some isolated cases, th this person may have difficulty in connection with alcohol or perhaps uh, recreational drug use perhaps but because this the sign is not as significant as the house placement this would be very isolated however if someone has chiron and pisces and say it has predominantly negative aspects and a number of them say say at least maybe three or four or more then obviously the the chances could increase for this uh, perhaps this could be somebody that might um, flourish or excel in terms of maybe being like a drug or addiction counselor uh, for somebody and helping others maybe in less fortunate positions such as uh, oppression or somebody in an impoverished uh, situation. So uh, also, the, um, like I stated before, the house placement is very significant. If somebody, say, um, Let's say they have Chiron in, um, in Pisces and they have it in their fourth house of home and family. Uh, this could be uh, somebody that may be able to reach out uh, to others and maybe uh, encourage them to show that compassion and empathy in matters connected with the home or somebody that encourages others to deal with anything any matters that might cause some kind of ambivalence or confusion in relation to home and family but at the same time this person might have difficulty in doing so um, themselves in matters connected with the home and family now let's say we'll put it in the uh, seventh house uh, if, Chi if somebody has Chiron and Pisces in the seventh house this could indicate perhaps some ambiguity or confusion um, perhaps that the person has to deal with in terms of partnerships or relationships, whether it's platonic or, um, or romantic. Uh, this could be uh, a person that would be able uh, to help others out in this regard, but they may have that difficulty 
in, um, in doing so themselves. So they might help others dealing with perhaps some deception um, in, in relationships, uh, whether it's business, platonic, or romantic, or otherwise. But they may have, uh, have maybe experienced some situations like this to their detriment in their own lives and have difficulty in dealing with this. So basically that's what, uh, when I talk about Chiron and Pisces, that's really essentially uh, what this is about. And and when we have a fundamental grasp or knowledge of astrology, that's half the battle, obviously, and it's just a matter of, uh, of knowing this and then being able to, to deal with it. Uh, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Chiron and Pisces in a natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time, where I'll be talking about Chiron in the first house in a natal horoscope as I'm starting my Chiron in the Houses series. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well. Thank you.